Welcome to the seventh place playoff final of the HSBC World Rugby Sevens Challenger Montevideo. Hong Kong, China against Kenya, emulating the high octane action that their men just served up in a scintillating semi final for the men's cup. Well, these two, they met each other already this competition. It was their opening match, and it was Hong Kong, China who prevailed 12 0, courtesy of a Natasha Olsen Thorne double, the captain leading from the try scoring front. But Kenya have plenty of tries in there. They got plenty of threats. Akela Wakulu, Amanguni, and Stella Wafulu, but to name a few. They don't know each other too well, these sides. It's just the fifth meeting. And prior to this weekend, all of the ones that went before were on Hong Kong soil back in the days when the qualifier was a one tournament wonder at the wonder that is the Hong Kong Sevens. The Hong Kong China, they will be hoping for seven. This is an improvement. In terms of their play, having finished 10th at the Dubai Challenger, whilst for Kenya, it's a step back from the runners-up status that they secured in the Middle East. Hollywood is the woman in charge. A pretty speedy winger in her pomp back in the day. So she should have no issues in keeping up with the speedsters on show. For Hong Kong, China and Kenya be ready to receive the kick from Vivian Poon. He cites Tyler King as her inspiration, her player to emulate. And with all those points accrued, not a bad inspo, is it? Poon is there right in the thick of things before Okumu whips it out. Kenya. In the tram lines. Oyana is there. Oyana clamps on and off go Hong Kong China, weaving through the tackles, offloading. Here's Ayun Sinyi. But the yellow card's going to come the way of the Kenyans, reduced to six players early. Chong Ka Yang. Chong Ka Yang, the Red Sea parts. And Chong Ka Yang says, yes, please. Well, she scored the opening try in the Asian Games that turned out to be the bronze winning one. And she opens the scoring here. Registering her third try of the weekend. And Vivian Poon, cool as you like, maximizes the score. And takes Hong Kong China to seven. Well, she looked left, she looked up and she looked and saw that no one was at home. The disconnect from the removal of one woman proving problematic for the Kenyans. Hong Kong, China, seven, Kenya nil. Stella Wafula still serving her time in the sin bin chair. Booming carry from Phoebe Ottiano, try scorer against China in their semi-final. Oh, the bounce just not sitting up. So unlucky. Great vision, great pace. But sometimes the oval gods don't look kindly upon you when determining the bounce of the ball. Sinoda Nyakio. The unlucky one there. Chonka Yan. Poon. Little hitch kick. Squeezes the offload to Olsen Thorne, Oyana. Oh, that is unbelievable from Oyana. The captain's on the shoulder. Chonka Yan arrives a little late. Chonka Yan is off in a flash. Chonka Yan. Too fast, too sharp of mind, two tries 
for Chong Kar Yan. Poon, unable to add the extras on this occasion, but there she goes. It was a double that downed the Lionesses last time from Hong Kong, China. Already a double, but this time from Chong Kai Yan. Poon, oh, drops on right on the money. Timing had to be perfect as the hit came in on the reinstated Wafulu. This time, Niakio searches for the kind bounce. She doesn't quite get it, but employs her football skills. Left foot, left foot again, stoops, collects, dishes. Ball dislodged in the tackle. It's still there for Kenya, and I think they've got it in the corner. Janet Akalo. First to react from a pinballing rugby ball. Nyakio, who plays a rugby for the home boys, hooks up her home girl with another fine bit of visionary play with the kick over the top. Twelve five. Just a shade over two minutes remaining, and Niakio is going to punish Hong Kong China all day long if they don't employ a sweeper. It was a brilliant pickup, and Wafulu had the ball dislodged as she picked it up, and then Akelo pouncing. The timing off. Tough one to judge those kickoffs sometimes. Not a huge amount of malice. But a scrum called. Well, there was no realistic chance that Stella Wafulu was going to capture that. Shankar Yan on a hat trick. Likes space, doesn't she? Kenya are giving too much at the moment. Poon delays that ball and gives it deliciously, tantalizingly, supersonically to Natasha Olsen Thorne, who gets up. She feeds John Kai Yang. Hat trick and a half for the halfback. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Three tries in this seventh place final. A one-woman grip on the game. And Poon sizing up the poles once again. The delayed ball from Poon. A blast of pace. The tackle was so good for a Mamanguni. Then Akalo arrived, but guess who? Sean Karyan. Hong Kong, China. In command, Akalo. So strong, rides that full blooded hit from the hat trick woman, Oyana. Swatted away. Ball squirms free, side entry called on the captain. Off goes Nyakio. Kalo fought to the floor kind of by a shoulder socket there. Oh, the ribs opened up for a tickle. And then held on on the floor. Otieno writhing. Wafulu supporting. Kenya fizzing. And on the hunt for a try to finish the half. Okalo. Okalo deadly with open space. She won't miss from there. 
And can you get a key score to close out this opening seven? And the returning star of Kenyan women's rugby gets a third of the weekend. Guess who loves it? Great step, lovely weave, looked in complete control. Thought about going closer to the uprights, but that's good. Hard work from Chonkar Yan to make the conversion that little bit tougher. And as a result, it's half time. And Hong Kong, China lead Kenya 17 points to 10. Who closed out a semi final against the Shuja in a tight affair. But they know that a lot can happen in seven minutes. And the Shuja were on the comeback. And the Lionesses won't go out with a whimper. Michaela Balthazar. Michaela Balthazar back in the side, back doing damage to defenses. Watch out. Chonkar Yan's on the hunt. Draws an illegal tackle from Janet Okelo. Balthazar. Tackle off the ball. Kenya got to be on top of their discipline. Chonkar Yang is loving life out there. The Energizer Bunny. It's been 11 out of 10 since the first blast of the whistle. This Hong Kong China side so well conditioned, having been on a camp with the ACT Brumbies in Australia in February. Part of a cross-border alliance that the Hong Kong China Rugby Union are looking to forge. And oh, that's a mismatch. It's David and Goliath the stuff. And the Goliath frame of Phoebe Ottiano is no match for the slingshot of Chong Kai Yan. She careers over and bullies Kenya right back into this match. Hong Kong, China retained the lead though. Well, the size differential was plain to see. Otieno, who helped the Lionesses qualify for WXV. Rampaging. Kickoff error from the Lionesses. Christabel Lindo heading off. Maureen Moritu onto the field. Who has an extraordinary story of how she came to the game. Moritu from the small town of Gatondo in Embu country. Free kick. Balthazar gets wrapped up. Here's Agnes Chan. Chonkar Yan will be looking for the ball. She'll be saying, give it to me. I want to tap. I want to go. But a bit of tranquilo. Called for by Ayung Sin Yi. Yeah. 
Shankar Yan swiftly gets herself back onto the ball, goes arcing round, releases Julia Oyana. And Oyana gets a deserved try. Cruises through to the uprights. But all the creativity, all the room fashioned by John Karyan again. Gabriella Rivers yeah. takes on the conversion responsibilities with her side leading by seven. Can she stretch it out to a two score game? No, she can't. Nice shapes in the midfield to displace the Kenyan defence. And as soon as Naomi Amanguni bit in, it was there for Julia Oyana to coast across. The drums beat. And so, and the clock ticks. Oh, the knock-on comes, Oyana. Oyana, not quite there to stretch, but there to offload. To Namka Man, who is the woman. Is her try going to take the game beyond this Kenyan team? Rivers sizes up the poles. This time goes right. Look at that hit. Low. Forces the error. Oyana kept it alive. And now Karman finished the job. I think that hit in the midfield came from Chon Karyan as well. An incredible personal just goes right. Look at that hit. Low. Forces the error. Oyana kept it alive. And now Karman finished the job. I think that hit in the midfield came from Chon Karyan as well. An incredible personal display from the number 11. He's out on the edge. Putting in a hit around the bootstraps again. This time on Naomi Amanguni. She'd be relieved that it wasn't Phoebe Ottieno in her windscreen again. Kenya, the Lionesses. Yet to truly unsheathe their claws. Long ball to Amanguni. Who meets the try scorer Oyana? Okelo's there. A tap and go. It's going to be a yellow card, surely. Off feet. Okelo. Okelo, she must score in the next few seconds. Okelo, a one woman wrecking ball, meets her match in Oyana. The Hooter blows. The game is Hong Kong China's. The Lionesses. Won one last roar in Montevideo. And they'll do so out wide to the right. Stella Wafula. The Impala. Stretches her limbs. Gets one last moment to save her in South America. The Hong Kong China have won this one. What a match. Fabulous conversion, but the scoreline too far gone to retrieve. One last look of Stella Wafula, who's been one of the standouts for this Kenyan outfit all weekend. But Hong Kong China have prevailed. It's seventh place for them with a full-time score of Hong Kong China 27, Kenya 
2010.